Free here, and welcome to today's Magic, where we're getting you ready for tonight's big game between the Miami Heat and Orlando Magic at Amway Center. And you know this game promises to be a doozy. It usually is when these two teams meet. I mean, look at the star power coming from South Beach alone. You have LeBron James, you have Dwayne Wade, you have Pat Riley's hair product, and oh yes, let's not forget the afterthought, Chris Bosh. Big game tonight at Amway Center, and to get you ready for it, we're joined right now by Josh Robbins. Orlando Sentinel beat writer that uh, covers the Orlando Magic and Josh. A lot of injuries out there for the Orlando Magic. If you were Stan Van Gundy, your starting five tonight would be? Man, I think Stan Van Gundy will decide to start Ryan Anderson at power forward. But let me propose an alternative. It's a possibility that Van Gundy will decide to start Hito Turklu at power forward. And then let me throw a little wrinkle in there. Instead of placing... Uh, Jason Richardson over to the small forward spot. One possibility would be to start Quentin Richardson at small forward. I think this is unlikely, but putting Q into the lineup would give the team a capable defender to help uh, slow down the heat on the wings somewhat. That's a possibility to look forward to at tip-off. Josh, it looks like Earl Clark is going to see a lot more playing time by default. Where does he need to improve his game the most? Well, it's not clear really that Earl Clark will be able to play big minutes tonight. Uh, he was sent home from practice on Wednesday because of a fever. However, it's really important also to remember that while the Magic coaches very much like his potential on defense, they like his quick feet, they like his work ethic, he's only a second-year player in the league, and he's only 23 years old. So he's got to improve his team defense and to some degree also his one-on-one -on -one defense. It'll take him some time to learn Stan Van Gundy's system, and he will be an unrestricted free agent at the end of this season, so it's not clear whether he'll be back with the Magic. Josh, knowing that Brandon Bass is going to be out probably through the All-Star break and maybe beyond, how long is it going to take for Otis Smith to make a move? Well, Matt, the answer to that question is a little bit complicated. I think a lot of it depends on how well and if at all, Malik Allen can contribute. He told me that he has a sprained MCL in his left knee. Uh, he injured that last week during a practice in Chicago. He's hoping that a new knee brace will help him contribute and actually play a few minutes. That said, Otis Smith has said, and his deeds have uh, backed up his words, uh, he has said that he's not willing to sign a player just simply to have an extra body. Uh, he had a chance to make a run at Earl Barron. He had a chance to make a run at Jaron Collins. But back this summer, the Magic had more interest in Malik Allen and wound up signing Malik. So if Malik Allen could play just even a few minutes, I think that will stop the Magic from uh, making any sort of immediate move. Now, all that said, I, don't think, I think the Magic still would be interested in adding an impact player before the deadline later this month. But their trade options are limited. I don't think they want to trade uh, some of their young talent like Ryan Anderson, Brandon Bass, or J.J. Redick. But that may be what it takes for them to get an impact player. Also, they have Jason Richardson's expiring contract, and that may be helpful to them as well. Josh, thanks again for joining us. I'll see you tonight at Amway Center. Okay, Matt, my pleasure. Hey, tip off 8 o'clock tonight at Amway Center. Should be a doozy between the Magic and the Heat. We're going to have coverage leading up to the game here on OrlandoSimple.com. And at 8 o'clock, Zach McCann and myself will host a live chat live from the press loge at Amway Center. And we'll take you throughout the game and throughout Stan Van Gundy's post-game remarks. And then we'll join you again here tomorrow on today's Magic. Thanks again for joining us.